guys, I'm Benny from BennyCakes.com and this is just going to be like a random update where I've been, what's going on with me video because I keep, I get posts, you know, asking why I'm not uploading and all that. So I just wanted to pop in and say hi, let you guys know everything's going okay. I've not quit booktube, just life has exploded. It's the holidays that happens. I did have a few things that I wanted to talk about in this video and I hope you guys bear with me because it's like rain on. It's kind of all over the place. First off, you guys, my dad had a heart attack on the night of Thanksgiving on Friday morning. My aunt took him to the hospital and they so, you know, you had a heart attack and they ended up shipping him to Nashville because the, the hospital there couldn't, they didn't have the things that they needed to do what they needed to do. So they sent my dad to Nashville. He had an amazing doctor there. They actually put two stents in his heart. He was up and walking around the next day. He is doing great. Thank you so much for all the uh, prayers and well wishes that were left on my Facebook and the tweets and and the private messages, you guys, mean so much to me, and I appreciate you so much. I just kind of wanted to do an update to let you guys know that all your prayers worked. Daddy's doing great. He's actually already back home at his house in Chicago. So, yeah, he's doing really good. He had great doctors in Nashville. He was in um, St. Thomas Hospital, if you're in the Tennessee area. So, they're good, good hospital. And then, on happier news... <laughs> Secret Santa. I did a video last week or week before with my wish list for my Secret Santa. And because I posted that, I've been getting a lot of private messages. People wanting to invite me to be a, super, a Secret Santa with their them or their group of people or whatever. Unfortunately, I have to say no, you guys. I can't be in another Secret Santa. I'm so sorry. Really, I mean, I, I don't have a whole lot of money. So, you know, I did one Secret Santa and the spending limit was $20 with that. Which, I know $20 doesn't sound like a lot, but when it's Christmas is coming up and I'm a mom of two kids, do you know what I mean? I have, no offense, more important people I need to be spending my money on. So, I I can't do more than one Secret Santa. This was the first time, so we didn't have a whole lot of notice for signing up, so a lot of people couldn't sign up. But I've been talking with um, P. Book Buddy, who is the one that's hosting the one that I signed up with. And I've kind of been throwing ideas at him so that next year, it'll be a little easier to organize and it won't be so crazy. Because he's put a, so much work into this, so I think next year it'll go a whole lot easier. And hopefully we can get that announced a little bit earlier so more people can participate in in the main one. I can't tell you who I got. I have no idea who got me. All I can say is I have posted my wish list video and I have purchased the books for my person. So who did I get? I don't know. But anyway, so when my whenever my gifts for my secret Santa show up, I will open them on air and then I'll probably cry because I'm an old lady and that's what we do and all of that good stuff. It's so funny. I made notes of what I wanted to talk about so I wouldn't forget anything. But And then when I was making my notes, I'm like, I know there's something else I was going to talk about. I, I don't know. Another thing I wanted to talk about was the card swap I posted a week or two ago. I posted a video asking if anybody wanted to exchange Christmas cards this year. Basically, what I, I have a big um, archway between my living room and my dining room. Every year I put Christmas cards around the archway. It looks fantastic. I wish I... I've got a picture, I'm sure, but I don't know where it's at. If I can find my picture, I'll insert it into the video so you can see what I'm talking about. Well, you know, I usually do it with my craft people. Like, I used to scrapbook, so all my little scrapbooking ladies would send stuff, and we'd get cards from all over the world, and I'd stick them on this wall. Well, I'm not doing that anymore, so I thought I would do it with my book, my book friends. So I posted a video to see if anybody wanted to do this card swap with me. Now, for like the last three or four years, whenever I would say, does anybody want to do a card swap? And these are crafty people. I would only get like maybe 15 or 20 people to reply. You guys... I got over a hundred replies. I've had to close the card swap early because, you know, I have to pay shipping to send my cards out. I'm rough adding and I'm already spending, I'm going to be spending like 30 bucks just sending out Christmas cards. And that's just guessing because a lot of them are overseas and shipping for those costs more. So, I don't know. I think next year I'm going to have to put a 50, first 50 people to sign up limit on it because I can't afford to send out that many cards. But anyway, if you have re replied for the card swap and I have emailed you back, 
I got your thing. If you messaged me and I did not send you my address back, then I didn't get your thing. But the, as of now, the, as of yesterday, I think, I closed the swap early because I can't, I just can't have any more people sign up for that. I mean, if you want to send me a Christmas card, go ahead. But I, I can't send any more out than what I've already agreed to send out, if that makes sense. Because I'm poor. We're poor people. Well, we're not poor, but you know what I mean. I, it's Christmas. I have kids. I can't just be throwing money around. But I wanted to talk to you guys about the BookTube Awards. If you haven't seen the video over on Amira's channel, I'll put a link for it here. Basically, it's like the Oscars and the Emmy or the Emmys, and it is for BookTube. I, I don't know how to word what I want to say. The BookTube Awards is not a way to judge people, and if you're not nominated in a category, it doesn't mean nobody likes your channel. It just means you didn't get nominated. Go nominate yourself. What they did was pick like 20 or 22 categories, you know, different different categories for winners, and then on some of them, they put a few nominations in of their own, and on some of them, they didn't, but the bottom line is you can nominate anybody for any of the categories. It's not... They aren't doing the BookTube Awards to, like, judge anybody or to say this person is better than that person. They just thought it would be something fun, and I thought it would be something fun. I signed up to be one of the hosts for it before I even knew I was nominated for anything. That's the other thing. I am actually nominated. They nominated me for the Ruffle Award, you know, R O S. You know what it stands for. I got nominated for that. I don't know why, because I'm not funny. I don't think I'm funny, but you guys are always laughing at me. So I'm, should I be offended? Do you know what I mean? If people laugh at you and you're not trying to be funny, they're laughing at you. You guys laugh at me. I'm just kidding. I'm honored to be nominated for any of the categories. I was looking in the comments, and I've actually gotten nominated in a few of the other categories, too. So that's awesome. I'm not telling you about it because I'm begging you to go and vote for me. I'm telling you about it because I want you to just go and vote. Throw in your nominations. You know, you might be looking in the comments and realize that one of the channels that you really like doesn't have a mention yet. So, and then you might, just through looking through the, uh, down at the bottom, you will find some channels that you didn't even know existed. I think I've subscribed to five or six people that I didn't even know were out there, but somebody had nominated them for one of the categories in the uh, in the thing. So go over, watch Amira's video, and if you want to nominate somebody or vote for somebody, nominate for them or vote for them. But the main thing is look through the comments because there are so many names getting dropped. There are so many people that I didn't even know existed, and I'm subscribed to like almost all, I think all, of BookTube. I'm subscribed to over like 700 channels or something crazy. It's, it's a lot, trust me. Anyway, so go over there and vote for me for whatever if you want to or don't. You won't hurt my feelings if you vote for somebody else. I didn't vote for me. I voted for Danny Marks in my category, so... I don't know. Just go over there and check it out. It's fun. They're not, we're not trying to say anybody's better than anybody else. I read some, some not nice stuff about it. I don't know why everybody has to try to make something negative about everything. There is a king and queen category. I opted to not vote in that category. I just after everything that's happened this last year, I thought that was not maybe worded the best. I know what they meant when they do that, just like there's a movie of the year or whatever. But it's I don't like how it's worded. So I chose myself not to vote in that category. But I did vote in some of the other ones. So just go check it out. Vote if you want to. Don't if you don't. Read the comments and find some new channels because that's fun stuff. The last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is, uh, like the other night, and I've noticed in the past, too, on past, like, random chats. The other night, Emma Hart's books, uh, when I came home from shopping, Emma Hart's books and Ryan were on live chatting on Emma's channel. And they're two of my favorite people. So, of course, I popped in to talk to them. Do you know what I mean? Well, they they invited me into the live stream. And I went up in the live stream. And I hung out with them for a little while. Even though I didn't have any makeup on. That was crazy. But it was really late over there. And Emma ended up wanting to go to bed. But the people in the comments over there were wanting us to continue the chat. So, what we did was restart the chat on my channel. And then we ended up talking for like another four hours. It was insane. But my question for you, and the reason I'm telling you about these live chats that have already passed, is they seem to get a lot of thumbs down. And I'm just wondering if the thumbs downing 
is that people that are stumbling across the feeds over on G+, because when you do a live stream like that, it's listed on in like the directory of live streams over on G+. So I might not ever watch YouTube videos and might not be interested in books, but I could be over on G+, and happen to see this face in my stream of current hangouts, and I might, you know, I can watch it, and I can thumb up it and thumb down it on YouTube. So I'm wondering if all of the thumbs down, and it's not just on my live chats. I was looking at some of the other ones that have happened over the last week, and there are thumbs down on them. So I'm wondering, is it you guys, is it the subscribers, you guys that watch my channel, are you guys the ones that are thumbing it down? Or is it random people? I mean, you don't have to say, yo, you know, you suck live. I thumbed your video down, bitch. You don't have to tell me that. But I would love for you to comment down below and let me know if the live streams, like if you like the live streams or not. Is it not something that you're interested in? I personally love it. I love that three or four or five, I think we had six at one point. I love that we can group together in a video and hang out with other book people and not only just the people in the video, but we can comment with the people that are watching. Do you know what I mean? So everybody can participate, even if they're not in the video. It's a great way for us to, like, interact with each other. Like, for me, myself, I don't have book people in my real life. Like, there's nobody around here that reads. Do you know what I mean? And I do have one friend that reads, but she doesn't talk about them. She just reads them and brings them back. So I'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs. I don't have anybody to talk to about books. That's why in the hell I started doing book videos on YouTube. So I'm just wondering what's the deal with the the live streams. Do you know what I mean? I mean, why do they get so many thumbs down? I don't understand because I love to watch them even if I'm not up in the video part. And then, too, I was like, I did lose some subscribers uh, during our live stream the other night. And I'm not, I don't know how to word this so it doesn't sound like I'm an egotistical asshole. I'm not upset that I lost subscribers. Do you know what I mean? The subscribers that unsubscribed, they unsubscribed, obviously, because they don't like my personality. And that's fine they, if they unsubscribe because if they don't like me in a live stream or they, you know, they don't appreciate my live stream, they're not going to, they don't like my personality in general, and that's what's in my videos. So they would be thumbs down in all my videos. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not really upset I lost subscribers. But I'm surprised by how many thumbs down the live chats get. I have a feeling that it's people over on G Plus just kind of stumbling across the videos and then thumbing them down. Because let's let's be honest with each other. A lot of people are not interested in books or book talk. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know. And then two, you know, two o'clock in the morning, people are watching videos. Chances are they're looking for blonde, big boobed porn type. They're looking for Jenna Marbles, and I am far from that. Do you know what I mean? So, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know what to do. I love having the live chats. And granted, I don't have to live stream them. I don't have to put them where the public can see them. Like, it could be just me and the other people that are in the video part with me. But I like letting you guys watch, too, and having you guys talk to us in the comments. That's how we get to know each other. So, 